I got to talk <laughs> about this podcast because I, you know me, I every now and then I find something I just can't stop watching. Yeah. And I mean, I only showed you a few minutes of this, but it is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe it even exists. It is the most LA thing I've ever seen. I like these people. I don't know them, but they're 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 fun. And this is not a knock on them at all. This is the most LA thing I have ever watched in my life. These are three influencers trying to explain kind of what an influencer is yeah. and what an influencer does. It's very interesting to watch this and it makes me laugh hard in a world where nothing does anymore. This really entertains me because it's kind of, I don't know if it's a genuine or if it's kind of a character or if it's half genuine or half character. It's hard to know, but all I know, all, here's where I stop. It's entertaining, very entertaining, this show that I watch uh, and and I watched their breakdown of the Russia thing, which was brilliant. Mm -hmm. It was- Oh, really? Well, I they didn't, didn't know where Russia was. <laughs> they didn't know what it was and they didn't know what the Ukraine was. And it was such a refreshing perspective versus everyone on Twitter who's like an expert in foreign policy in their <laughs> own heads. These people were brave enough to go, I don't know what that is. <laughs> right. What is the Ukraine? Yeah. <laughs> Let's start there. Because by the way, that's a better system in terms of figuring out what's going on in the world to just start at ground zero and go, what is Russia? <laughs> go. I want to watch this little clip. These are three influencers explaining what it is to be an influencer. It is truly one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Recommend it highly. It's hard to avoid the question. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Okay, okay, let's see. Someone says someone hasn't asked me that in so long, also. So that should, um, I'll just be like, I don't know. I'm just like a lazy piece of shit, and then I run away. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I never. I like it goes back and forth between like I work in social media, which does which is not. What, yeah. Like that doesn't make yeah. sense. Yeah. No, um, you do. Yeah, but like I feel like when you say like I work in social media, people are thinking like behind the scenes, like you work for Instagram. Oh. Okay. Kind. I don't yeah. know, but. I know. I never I mean, know this guy is. Yeah. Well, I mean, I turn uh, around. He's and I'm like, what do you do? <laughs> right. Yeah. No, you. You just. I lie. I basically lie. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what was I going to say? Oh, I say I do consulting, and then no one ever asks another question. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a good. You could. You could. You could. Because everybody consults. Mm -hmm. You know, like you consult. I guess in a way. Actually, what does consulting mean? <laughs> It means to offer your services. Pause that for a minute. Or advice. It's just it, great. It's informative. What is consulting? It's a great, she, the woman asked the question, mm -hmm. hey, what is, what is that? I hadn't thought about that in a while. This is what's great about these people. They're unashamed to just go, what is consult? I don't mm -hmm. know what it is. Mm -hmm. I hear it. Mm -hmm. People do it. Yeah. But I don't know what it is. They're just pure salt of the earth. It's just a kind of amazing here and, and watch this because now they they credit the one in the these two credit the one in the middle for I, I believe inventing comedy on the internet. <laughs> they they credit her for inventing. Everyone's a good say. <laughs> No, I, I'm not kidding around. The the next thing is they credit uh, this woman in the middle for starting comedy on the internet. <laughs> no, I swear to God, during the pandemic, it's breathtaking. <laughs> I can't. I'm telling you right now, if this is scripted, it is brilliant, or even if it's not scripted, if it's loosely verite style, curb your enthusiasm, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know if they know what it is, but I'm telling you right now, and I don't know any of you, you are doing the greatest level of satire <laughs> that maybe has been done in the last decade. I don't know if you know what you're doing, but God don't stop. Please don't stop. Let's go. Hey, in one way or another. Yeah. He's not a consultant. I said I used to say I work in advertising because I thought like, yeah. okay, with brands. Marketing, advertising. Marketing, advertising. Sure. That yeah. checks out to me. That makes complete sense. And um, then people would ask me more like, yeah. about like what agency and then, well, then if you think I would about go it, mute. We're writers, directors. <laughs> yeah. We are. Editors. Edit producers. Yeah. Actors. Yeah. Actors. Actors. Yeah. Yeah. We're writers, directors, editors, producers. We're we're entrepreneurs. Yeah. 
we're all tours. Yeah, we're venture capitalists. <laughs> I mean, we're writers, we're directors, yeah. we're producers. And again, it, 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 no shade to anybody here, but literally they're going like this. Yeah! <laughs> Send. That's kind of what it is, right? I mean, like stuffing Cheerios in their mouth and like farting and then, and then hitting send. Like, but she's going, we're writers, we're directors, we're producers. She said she hadn't left her bed in like a month. Yeah. She's making it all from a bed with she's like a diaper. From on. a bed, she's a writer, a director, a producer. She's a gaffer. She's, she's the Terrence Malick of TikTok. Yeah, she's the Martin Scorsese. It's amazing. She's like, when you think about it, it's great. She goes, when you think about it, it's, it's all in the words. She goes, when you think about it, we're writers, directors, actors, producers. First of all, give them, give them, give them, give them writers, oddly. <laughs> give them actors. Okay, even maybe give them directors. Producers, they're producing I guess they're producing the whole. Yeah, the, the, I don't know. They're not making a bunch of calls and organizing. I, I don't uh, know, but it, what's great is that it, they've, we've already established they don't really know what words mean. So they go, <laughs> what's a consultant? So they don't know what words really mean. And that's what makes it so good because people that know what words mean are boring. And I truly believe this and mean this. You're right. When you don't know what words mean, you're anything. You know, she's like, I'm an invertebrate zoologist. <laughs> I'm a writer. I'm an actress. I'm an astronaut. And they go, what is, and she goes, oh, what is an astronaut? And they go, I think it's someone that like goes to other planets. And she goes, oh, oh, well, maybe I'm not that. Like, so they don't, they have to like reverse engineer. Right. So let's, now this is my favorite part where these guys uh, tell this woman in the front, in the middle, that she started <laughs> they basically call her the Charlie Chaplin no, she of started, internet comedy. She started comedy on the internet, which is, I was unaware. And I'm sure she's a lovely woman. But again, it's this is the it's the best show on the. It's funnier than my show. It is fun. It is not even close. It is not even a contest of how better this is than what I do. We are our own agents, yeah, managers. Do you guys like what we're doing so far? <laughs> Do your parents, yeah. do your parents, so like we obviously like make videos. Courtney, I don't know if we said average fashion blogger. Yeah. Really? Better known online as average fashion blogger. We have her in today. She's one of our good friends, but like, let's break it down. Do your parents get what you do? Let's break it My down. parents. Yeah. My dad's been obsessed. He like, <laughs> he does it less now, um, but in the beginning he like always called me like, Courtney, I have a really, really good viral video for you. Yeah. And they would say like the most problematic thing in the world. But <laughs> he like, he gets it. He like wants to do it so bad. I, I feel like you are really like the blueprint. You started off. <laughs> That's really dramatic. <laughs> no, I, I really mean that with my whole heart. Like you, you started making comedic videos <laughs> on Instagram. I can't really think of <laughs> anyone that did it. I think <laughs> anyone <laughs> that made videos period before TikTok right. was it's like, goes, OG. He, goes, yeah. he goes, I can't think of anyone that made videos. Hold on, roll that one back. <laughs> he goes, I can't think of anyone that made videos before TikTok. Like, is My he joking? Like you, you started making comedic videos on Instagram. I can't really think of He's kidding, anyone think. that did it. I think anyone you. that made videos period before TikTok right. was it's like the blueprint. OG. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, and yeah. now you're about to hit a million on TikTok. She already Babe, did. Babe, I already did. Wait, okay, oh, I know what, uh, no one where told the hell me. have you been? No one told me. Um, All right. <laughs> Let's <laughs> enough of that. Yeah. Um, stunning. Beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it's brilliant in a way. Um, it's brilliant in a way because you have three people that are influencers or trying to be influencers in, yeah. that, in whatever that means. Mm -hmm. Trying to explain what it is. Figuring out that it's kind of hard to explain <laughs> with words. And, you know, they're just kind of, it's just, it's LA. This is LA. These are people yep. are just floating around in, yeah. in, 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 in and out of reality. Mm -hmm. They're all like 14 years old. They're very young, but they're not. The no, other thing not, is, I no. don't know if they're 14 or if they're like 40. I think they look. They're, no one knows. Yeah, they're supposed to look young. They're supposed to look. I think they're uh. supposed to exude like a prepubescent. Well, kind yeah, of, the whole thing's like it's cartoonish it and looks fun, like, and yeah. it's like we're hanging out, we're like hanging out, we're like hanging out, like you are like. Like, you're like a friend of ours. And like, <laughs> you like, like, remember that I met you? Like, I met you, like, in a car 
we're in a car. <laughs> What's a car? <laughs> yeah. So like, it's a, it's a like, it's like a spaceship on the ground. <laughs> And, and like, remember Coachella is like really funny because like y you were like, and, and I was there and like, we didn't even know that we like, we like knew each other from like social media, but like, we didn't know, like, we didn't know each other. So, and then uh, every now and then the Brook one will come in and she'll be like, my grandmother was in the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> like out of nowhere. And I'm like, this is the greatest show that's ever been done. No. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll be like, but she survived. And then she'll, she'll be like, was Doja Cat good <laughs> at Coachella? Did you enjoy Doja Cat? Anyway, super fan of this show. No, it's lit. Literally, and my first show that I love, the WW Bro mm. podcast, was about a guy who was 600 pounds and gave diet advice. Yes. Nothing better. Yeah. And he would be great because he would come on and he would go, like, he'd go, Thanksgiving, I take the day off. He goes, Thanksgiving, <laughs> I eat. And it was so beautiful. 